you have chosen to be homeless. Not really, but um, I've been staying with friends. So the friends you meet at the Facebook, total strangers are friends, you're right. Um, I don't really feel comfortable with him being here. Okay, so. but you're not running this, I am. So, right, yeah, um, I understand. So I have a question here. Um, why are you not taking care of your personal hygiene? Um, I am. That's his opinion. I mean, what when was the last time so? you had a, a bath or a shower? Um, like about yesterday, pretty much. So, yeah. And where was this? Um, at the hotel we were staying at. And were you there when this took place? We had separate rooms. Her idea of a shower is not a shower. What's your idea of a shower? Getting in the water and what most people would consider a shower, I guess. Uh huh. So, and how like often, just, how often do you shower? Be, um, about once every other few days, but I mean. That's not true. I'm not really comfortable with him being here, so. No, that. you are the star of the show. You got you? something behind you there, so you need to either leave that or take it with you, one of the two. Okay, that's fine. I'm not surprised. Yeah. In my opinion, she's either lying to herself or she's actually delusional. Well, there are times when family members get to the point that they're really beyond you loving them out of the problems that they have. There just comes time where the problems get so complex, so layered, or so deep that you've got to call in reinforcements. You've got to get professional help. Um, you know, we, we try to support people, we try to love people, we try to help them where they can overcome obstacles or dig themselves out of holes. But then there are times where it actually rises to the level of a mental illness. Here's the thing, I, I think that you are experiencing a lot of anxiety that's expressing itself in a lot of different ways. There is a place here in California, in Pasadena, California, that's called Las Encinas. Mm -hmm. And it is a private hospital. And this is a place that provides medically supervised patient-centered treatment approach. The reason I don't feel like that's too necessary is because I thought that she, she's the one, if anything, has told me to just sometimes either just go on the street or she has told me to live with friends. She's not a professional, she's a mother, because what I'm doing is offering a healthy, therapeutic, supportive environment to give her a restart in her life. Okay. And I'm gonna ask that you at least go over there, meet them, and take a look around. Will mm -hmm. you do that? Um, I don't know right now, probably, okay. probably well, not. Well, that, offer, because... that offer expires today. And at that point, you need to not be in denial. You need to reach out and get professional help. And maybe it starts with your family doctor, general practitioner. Maybe it starts with seeing a counselor at your church. Maybe it starts with your neighborhood corner psychologist or whatever. But when you are faced with that, it doesn't get better with time. It gets worse. So act on it quickly because habits have a way of entrenching themselves and the longer people live that way, the harder it is for them to redefine things. So if you're in that situation where you're just not living in a functional way or somebody in your family is not, acknowledge it, reach out, get help for it. Don't let days turn into weeks, weeks turn into months and months turn into years while somebody wastes away their life energy. Get the help you need.